Hey you guys, welcome to my channel, Budgeting My Abundance. I am the Abundant Mama and this is the channel where I am documenting my journey to financial independence and I share with you all the little tips and tidbits that I learned along the way. So if that's something that you're interested in, then please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so that way you are notified every time a new video is uploaded. It's that time again. I am doing my monthly, or at this point, quarterly savings check-in. So, um, I'm doing mine a little bit early because my next paycheck, it will actually be July. So, to me, it didn't feel right for me to try and um, do a June check-in. Like, you know, like during the normal cash stuffing, I'm taking out whatever if I have like any extra ones or whatever and I throw that to like my rollovers because that's what I use when I do my um my check-in I pull out funds from my rollover from my one dollar challenge my five dollar challenge and then I count and see how much that, that totaled up to and then I add that to my savings um for for that like right now from normally I would Say if I had some money left over, like some leftover ones, I would throw it into my one dollar challenge, and that just wouldn't work. Right, if I was to um, wait until my next paycheck because it's in July, and I'm just gonna use whatever money I have left, and that's gonna go towards July, and that'll be like a new quarter. So we're just gonna go with this. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. And these are notes from the last time I did a check in, um, where I had like maybe ten dollars in rollovers. Um, I had like maybe one five dollar from the five dollar challenge, and I had like twenty two dollars in ones. And so that was my total. So I kind of kept that up there to remind myself how I did it because last time I confused the hell out of myself. So I kept this as like a little note to remind myself, but now I remember what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this and use a standard eraser and just erase this. And I'm gonna leave this there so I can remind myself this is was the total because I added all that up and that was how I got that total. So for now, I'm gonna keep that. But let's go ahead and get started. So. First thing we're gonna do, and make sure that you guys can see, I'm gonna check the out of the way. And let me know if this looks different to you guys. Um, I'm using a different camera, um, mainly because I have a new phone. My other phone died on me, and it's always like that. Like, as soon as when you finish like paying that phone and then your bill starts to get low, the damn thing breaks. So I went and got a new phone. And so that's gonna be a whole new savings challenge because I had to finance the phone. So I'm gonna make a challenge out of that and use that to pay off the phone because I'm, I'm not. So um, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my rollover. Like I feel like this one is, you know what, every little bit counts. So even if I didn't save as much as I would like to have saved, that's fine. So I had no five dollars, and then I do have some ones. And then the next thing I'm gonna count is this amount that I have for my savings challenge that I've been doing. That's to get to a thousand. So I'm gonna count all of these and then add that to this. So let's see. At once I add that to that then I'm gonna count my emergency fund all together. And that'll be like, that's the total amount of how much I saved. Okay, so we have $10 here. I'm gonna write that. And then for $1, my $1 challenge, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So it's $11 there. Here, 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add that up. B and C. 10 plus 11 plus 55 equals 76. So all together we have $76. So that's what we saved for the month of June, basically. So I'm just gonna put this right here. Again, 76, that's my total for the month of June. And then let's go ahead. We had the last, where we start, left off was, it was I believe 286 is what I had saved all together. Also for June, actually I wrote down the wrong area. This is where I'm at, 76 for the month of June. That's how much I saved all together. So let me erase that. And then for quarter two, we're gonna add the $76 plus that 286. Cause that's where we left off when I did my last um, savings challenge. I managed to save $286. Now recently I did start a um, I realize I'm really not that talkative today, and I think mainly that's because all day for the last two days, my sinuses have been whooping my butt. Like this summer, oh my God, it's just uh, it's been a little brutal to my to my nose and my sinuses. So I may sound a little bit different, a little bit more I don't know, grady, I guess. Wait, where's that hundred dollars? Cause I had a hundred dollars bill in here somewhere. Okay, here we go. One hundred, one fifty, two hundred, two, four, six, eight, three hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. 362 dollars. And we're just gonna go ahead and double check that. So that is a uh, two, eight, six plus. 76 equals 362 dollars so yay for that like my goal like this is all gonna go towards my emergency fund um before i said i was uh well i was starting to say and then i started counting was that i do have like my own personal savings and i didn't want to add that because right now um I guess I could, but like right now, I am just focused on using this savings to go towards my emergency fund because that's my main thing. Um, this is for if anything happens. Um, right now, there's a storm. There's a storm developing, but I don't think it's really near us. But this is the funds that I would use for that. So if we gotta like pack up and go, I have the funds. That's that's all that matters. Um. And honestly, this is my first time stuffing it, so I believe I still have like, I think $58 is what I stuck in here. So like, we can, so technically I have 420, but I'm not counting that to, uh, I'm not counting this for now. Right now I'm still at, uh, I'm gonna say I'm at 362, because uh, all of this is going towards the emergency fund. The savings that I have right now with the 58, that is strictly for my personal savings. And once I get to a certain amount, I'm gonna look to invest that. But um, I do have some other challenges that I will be starting, um, that I'll be adding towards my savings challenge. And one is a self-care challenge. So I just kind of did my thing with that one. And then the other one, I just put regular challenge in. This is for when I have any other challenge. I may not want to make another envelope. So this one's just says challenge. And right now this is gonna be my phone challenge because my goal is to pay that off. Um, the phone costs eight hundred dollars, um, and like I said, I financed that, so I think they charge like an extra thirty dollars to your regular uh, fee. Um, so I am going to try 
I didn't print out the paper, but I will um, in the next cash stuff so you can see it. Um, I think I have it where I think I've paid either $30 or $22. I don't remember. I think I adjusted it. But um, I stuffed so much money into like the envelope every time. And once I hit up about $800, I'm going to go ahead and just pay it off. And however that works, I may have some money left over just because, you know, it's added to your, your phone bill. So... Um, whatever money I have left over, I'm just going to throw it into another savings. Um, another one that I created, and I'm not going to do all these savings challenges at the same time. Like, I got to prioritize, is my um, manifestations. Um, I keep saying I want to purchase house, so I want to do a manifestation in binder. And it's under my old housing uh, envelope because I'm trying to manifest a house. Like, it, I can't make it more plainer than that. I'm trying to manifest a house. So even if I have to put like $2 in here until I have cleared up my debt, and eventually I will do a debt snowball. I just need to figure out how I want to work things because I do know that sometime next year, I want to purchase a new car just for the fact that like we had to evacuate because of Hurricane Ida and I was able to do it but was very uncomfortable like with a baby and a dog and all of our luggage that was a very uh big reality call that like i need a bigger car that 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 wasn't gonna work and then i had like someone in the car with us too so we were like all on top of each other and yeah it's just i need an suv <laughs> so that's what it is so thank you guys for joining me on my um Oh, let me go ahead and clear this out. Hopefully you can hear me because um, I didn't realize it, but the phone that I got, it um, the microphone that I usually use doesn't really work, isn't compatible with this phone. So I need to buy a whole new mic. So I like, I opened up a whole new can of worms with that one. But let me get this, uh, this marker. And I am gonna go ahead and knock that out. Since we know that we say with the um, with the rollover and the ones, I have managed to save up the 76, so that means that we are done with the $75. So I can go ahead and color that one in. So we're done. And so the goal is to be able to fill one of these $50 um, spots next, step, next stuffing. So I am glad that I broke the 300 mark because that means that I am very well on my way to 500 which is you know a half point and honestly once you get halfway there it's downhill you straight from there so yay so again thank you guys for uh watching and joining me on this um on this monthly check-in um leave a comment like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one Abundant Mama out